challenging me with what had said or the implications of what had said and was so helpful to me and so uh, I'm so grateful. People say what well, parish are you in and this is my parish because parish is about community and care and love and that's what Father Peter's spoken about you know sort of Margaret, Mandy the people here are so caring. I went to another parish that will be nameless for maybe 12 years and I think I knew about six people. Here I know sort of dozens of people, not always by name, but we always greet each other. And what I find particularly exciting, which will be carried on to St Anne's, is the whole diversity of the people we meet here from all over the world. And one final bit is in the last couple of years I've discovered that my husband's family and mine, my family, both of whom were economic immigrants, one from Belgium and one from Germany, both lived in this parish, okay. you know, sort of over a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. And I just feel as though I've come home and my granddaughter was baptised here and it just means so much that this, this is our home. It's, we're really sorry to leave it, but hopefully the spirit of this parish will continue. The hallmark of this great man here on my left is... Um, what you've actually managed to do is to create a huge atmosphere of inclusiveness I know it's part of the mission statement um, you know it doesn't matter what your background is, what you've done whatever your baggage is the people here are no different from the people up at St Anne's nothing to fear about coming together because the essence of the people is their rawness. There's a rawness to the people. It's the suffering. There's a little suffering here, you know. I've no doubts that great things will come of this. We'll keep this spirit going uh, in, in, in new new community, and we are one big community, St. Anne's and St. Bernard's. It's been a, a, a great part. It's been a great experience. It'll be a sad time. But I'm looking forward to going to St. Anne's because times move on. It's been home and I, I'm really sorry we have to move on, but I hope mm. we can all go together and carry that spirit with us to St. Anne's. St. Anne's is a highly international community, just as St. Bernard's is. So uh, I, I'm, I am looking forward to a beautiful blending, the lovely welcome, the lovely people in St. Anne's, in fact, and the uh, wonderful beautiful community that we've always had here in St Bernard's. It's going to be great having everybody at St Anne's as well to bring all that uh, into a new parish and it's, it's, it's a challenge and we'll miss it dreadfully but I think that whole spirit that Margaret's talked about and the people and the love that, that Father's talked about, we'll take that all with us. We won't be leaving Peter Morgan here, he'll be, he'll be coming with us and he was one of the main reasons uh, um, that I really like the church, apart from the community being so uh, cohesive and so friendly. It was it, there was Peter and, and his radical homilies and his openness and his lack of dogma. It's um, something I hadn't found in a church anywhere and that was really inspiring, still is of course. I'm sure that the combined congregation will bring in a lot of others. Those many visitors who come occasionally will say like others have said, I think I'll stay here. I have to follow. I cannot go back. I have to follow to St. Anne's to stay with my friends. The community is going, so although we lose the church, the spirit yeah. can continue. And the whole, the whole thing is the love that was here. Yes. And we can take that love with us wherever yeah. we go.